Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Command. I'm Ruben and today we're going to be sending a rover to EVE. We're going to start by building this simple rover. We're sending this to EVE to complete a contract where we needed to collect barometric readings from four locations. This is going to be my second attempt at this contract. My first attempt, I built some small probes. I was going to drop them on the locations to do the scans, but I forgot to put parachutes. So I was thinking that a rover would be better because it could drive to these different locations and take the readings. It's important to test your rover to make sure it works well before you send it off. I suggest adding a probe core, rotating it 90 degrees and then controlling from that probe core and it makes the rover much easier to control. Once you've built your rover and you've got everything the way you like it, you're going to need to build a delivery system. And this is something that's also very important to test before you send it off. I used a decoupler here to attach the rover to the fairing base. I used the translation gizmo to clip the decoupler into the fairing base and then move the rover up so it looks like it's sitting on there. And I also used a strut to hold the rover steel after we release the fairing. When everything's working, we're going to send it off to EVE. In the video where we had the recoverable first and second stage, this rover was the payload.
You might want to make sure you don't deploy your chutes too soon because after I deployed my chutes I had to wait a very long time for this thing to float all the way down to the surface. The clouds mod I was using ended up making everything look really dark. I thought I had SVE installed but I'm thinking now that it was EVE. As soon as the rover set down, I saved the game. Then we had to wait for the transfer stage to get overhead so we could communicate back with Kerbin. And when I released the rover, the wheels exploded. Fortunately, I saved the game, so I reloaded and then released the rover again, and there was no problem. Next, we drove out to all the sites and took the readings. And after we completed the contract, I really did not like how dark everything was. So I tried getting rid of all the shadows in the config files and I ended up messing everything up. So I had to reload the clouds mods and I ended up installing SVE and it looked far better. And that's our EVE rover. The next video will be a continuation of the Minmus Base series where we'll start putting together some of the modules that we built in the last video. I've also been testing out the next shuttle refit and I've been able to deliver 68 tons to orbit. Also, I'm going to be building the Orion Light command module, and then we'll be using that to complete a contract. So that's all for today, and we'll see you next time.